Hey guys, it's me Jennifer Biana and today I'm going to be doing another requested video so I'm super excited about that. After my what's on my iPhone video, someone requested me to do a case collection video so I am doing that now and I have a couple weird like really weird cases because I had an emo phase. Um, <sighs> yeah. The person who suggested this video is uh, here. Thank you so much and if you request a video, I am going to shout you out on my channel, so request a video. But before the video, please subscribe to this channel and make our little fam a little bit bigger and please click the notification bell to see all the videos that I upload because sometimes they're not in the subscription box. I don't know what that's about. I don't know YouTube. But whatever. Please click the notification bell, subscribe, and here are my social medias if you choose to follow them if you like me. Okay, and let's get straight into the video. If you haven't seen my What's On My iPhone video, um, this is my iPhone case. It's from Poshmark. It's a rose gold mirror case, and it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, and this is like the classiest, most calmest, most elegant of the cases I've ever gotten. Um, and I said in my What's On My iPhone a video that it makes me feel like a businesswoman or like I feel very official with it on and it's for the iPhone 7 that I have so please watch that video with my iPhone 7 and uh, I'm really weird and I had all of my cases in this jar minus like a couple so like I have a couple of these that are still in the wrap that story um so I have a lot of these in this little jar but a lot of these cases are for older iPhones so because it's like my case collection through my life because I never wanted to get rid of any of my cases because I'm weird that always scares me and I got this little jar thing from Marshalls all right should we just okay So, um, I'm pretty sure I lost a couple cases along the way, but this is basically all of them and I wish that some of them still fit my phone because some of them are really cool. So yeah. <laughs> okay. I ordered this kind of case on Amazon and I wanted this color, I think, and it's basically, I think it was for the 5C, it's like tear, it's teardrops, oh my god, it's like raindrops. And then it goes into this gradient ombre thing with the blue. And I ordered this color on Amazon, but then they sent me, like, for this was for like $2. And then they sent me this color with all the other colors. <laughs> and I don't know where the other ones went. I think I gave some to my sister, but I literally got like, like, I had like five of these cases. And like, I still never like open them or use them. And I would sell them, but like, who has a 5C anymore? <laughs> no one. And this is a red. And this like a dark blue I had like a green and a pink and a purple I think those I gave to my friends or something like it was just like what the hell how how did I get all of these for two dollars that's crazy what a bargain so that was my least favorite I think I was just really desperate for a case um now let's get to all the funky ones huh so I have this case and this was for like the iPhone 4 again this was my little punk emo phase which lasted like a good four years of my life uh, yeah and this one is actually like really good material unlike the raindrop one which is really cheap and broke very easily like this is like a bendy one and it covered the rest of the phone and it was like I think I got this from like I don't even know like a store like rainbow or rainbows or something but yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Skulls. Fun. And on to those scary stuff thing. Uh, I remember that I really liked this phone case and my boyfriend at the time, um, my ex-boyfriend, my boyfriend at the time, he surprised me by putting this in my locker in high school and I was so, like, I loved it so much. And this is it. It's an Ouija board iPhone case and it's like, it's like so nice. It's like matte. It's like, it feels matte and it's like really great and I love Ouija boards. Um, I, I used to use them a lot, not anymore. Now I think reality has hit me and I'm petrified of them, but when I was little, I loved them. I just casually would do that ever so often. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is the case. And then 
And yeah, it just feels so nice. It's so nice. And whenever I look at it, I just think back to that part of my life. Like, Ouija board in every day, every, no, not every day, not every day, but you know, whatever. Okay, so then I got this case from Amazon, I think. This was a this was cheaper quality. It's like the raindrops one, because clearly it broke and I still wore it. I think this is also for the iPhone 5C. Uh, I had trouble finding cases for the iPhone 5C because who the fuck wanted that phone to begin with? So why would, you know, just like the, like, uh, uh, who the fuck wanted an iPhone 5C? I just had it because it was cheaper. Uh, and this is just like stars moon my astronomy thing i still have that part of my personality though i still love astronomy and all that jazz but yeah uh. <laughs> and then i have this for my 4s which is like such a punk case like literally but it was it's really i, I got i definitely got this from forever 21 and it's really it, it was sturdy and it like <laughs> This was fun to hold, and I think that they're really dirty now. Yeah, they're really dirty because it was used a lot. And yeah, this was just like, I think this was eighth grade, ninth grade, like really punk rock. Like I was dating this guy who was also very punk rock. Yeah, he influenced me a lot, and this is what came out of it. Because he really liked brass knuckles, like those things, and uh, me remembering my life. Uh, okay, and then <laughs> this is the funniest one because I made this case. I freaking made this case. I made this case with like um, one of my like best friends in high school, um, and we really liked to like mod podge and collage. Like literally, we were so lame. Like we would have parties. We would have parties. We would have sleepovers, and we would literally just like cut up magazines and collage things onto like boards. I think it was just because we were so like hurt from boys that we would just like need to express it somewhere. I don't really know when I made this, but she bought the case for like very cheap. It was just like a normal red um, iPhone 4S case. I th this is definitely like ninth grade or 10th, I think, I don't know. Um, and so I mod posh this case and you're gonna laugh. And then I like posted how like I mod posh and people were like, oh my god, that's so cool. Can you make me one? And I was like, ah. I was like, no, this is like something personal for me. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know. It, it just like wasn't even that good. It was just so personality based. Like I had, I've cigarettes in here and I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. I, I just wanted to be like that badass that like smoked cigarettes even though I've never smoked a cigarette in my entire life. Like I just have I just have all the things that make a badass. Like I have Bud Light on it like for so I stressed black hole drama lust party. I had like lips on it. Secret hell gun <laughs> light beer, meltdown, happy hours, cigarettes, XOXO, like lips, whatever, crying, like you guys, this iPhone case is the epitome of like a Tumblr preteen. <laughs> oh guys, so yeah, oh I also have a wine bottle and weed, um, it was, wow, it doesn't look too nice here, but matter so and it, it like felt it felt fine because like the mod polish so it like really stayed i'd i'd like to see um my friend from high schools so i don't even remember hers so uh, great <laughs> okay maybe i'll send her a picture of this and make her laugh um <laughs> so yeah Okay, so this is for also the 5C, I think. I told you, I, got, I had a really hard time trying to find cases for the fine, for the 5C. And then this is the part when I started like getting into like aesthetics. I was like, oh, like, you know, like punk is lame, like whatever, like I'm gonna try to be like Tumblr aesthetic or Tumblr grunge. I think I was going for Tumblr grunge at the time. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, if anyone knows me, it's uh, my phases. I have so many phases. Um, Right now it's all pink and girly stuff. Okay, so you know Pantone on Tumblr? So I actually got like a $20 case that was like this Pantone universe. I don't even know. This was not worth it, but I felt really cool at that time. So 
As long as I had that, I guess. I don't even know. Just like Pantone. If, if, like, you know what this is if you're like on Tumblr and TV aesthetic bullshit. And then I had a denial phase. So this is the funniest case ever. I had a denial phase where I was like, I don't have a 5C. I'm not broke. I'm like everyone else. I have a 5S. So I bought this case. For my 5C. <laughs> Guys, this is a case for a 5C to make the 5C look like a 5S. <laughs> it's gold and it even says like iPhone designed by Apple in California. Like it has those words right there. It's, this is just like the epitome of sadness. It's just sad. Okay, um, and then this is what my ex-boyfriend, my boyfriend at the time got me for like a birthday present or something. He got me this case, which is really sturdy. This is probably like the sturdiest case of all of my cases because he customized it so like it would be like sturdy. And yeah, it has like, I don't even know what he was thinking. This is, this was really not my aesthetic like at all. And um, I don't know, I didn't really like it, but like I wore it, like, like I put it on my phone cause obviously he got it for me. And it has like, gr it has like wood here and then a tribal thing here. And then it's like a light blue. And then it, it, then it has my initials. That was the only cool thing about it, like JBG, like Jennifer Bionic Gelman. So yeah, that was the only cool thing. I really didn't like it. Okay, and then one time I was going, I got a new phone, and the next day I was going to Dominican or Mexico, and I needed a new phone, and I needed a phone case, and there was a snowstorm outside, and I was like, oh my god, because I, I think I Amazoned a phone case and it didn't come, and there was a snowstorm, and I was like, oh my god, I need a case, like, in the sand in Mexico, this isn't gonna go well. So I went over with my mom to, to T-Mobile, like in my neighborhood, cause that's close by. And I got this ugly case that I wore in Dominican and I didn't like it at all. I mean, it's not too bad. It's just like, you know, they're never gonna have nice cases. It's just like a heart case for my 5C. So like, it was just like hearts. And then it came with another one in like a red. And um, yeah, it's, it's just not the nice, I didn't really care about this case. Before I got this case recently, so I got this case like a couple, like a week ago. I've been wearing this case for like the past, yeah, so this was the case that I've been wearing. Um, I really like this case. It was good to me. I, it broke somewhere. I just don't remember. Something happened with it. No, nothing happened with it. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is just the, I got this from Marshalls and I still really like it. I like this case a lot. It was for the iPhone 7 and uh, yeah, it was cute. Uh, can I put it on top of this case? <laughs> Yeah, this, this is how it would have looked like, but yeah, this was like $12. It's really cute. I like it. So that was my whole case collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't like boring or anything. I was just telling my stories. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to this little channel and suggest me more videos. Okay, bye guys.